What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Protest Sports. Friend of Protest Sports Network, back with another video for you guys today, man. And today we're talking um, LA Rams record predictions. Like I said, uh, before I get into it, um, I know I had a scheduled live stream. I do apologize for that. Um, I decided just to do these uh, pre recorded videos. Let's. It's not easier right now. Um, I've kind of, I'm kind of, I've kind of constrained on time, so I kind of want to go ahead and just breeze through these record predictions as soon as I can, um, and give you guys my opinion. So if I get hard glory to golf, I'll go. We're talking about right now, so I'm gonna breeze through these uh, record predictions I do have in front of me. Um, so if you see the same outfit in multiple videos, just understand that I'm doing multiple videos. Um, this late, this late Monday evening is about 8.30 p.m. So I'm going to knock these out before um, before 10 p.m. So I have some time with my wife before I go to sleep. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Today we're talking about the L.A. Rams, man. Uh, really good football team. Just want to give you guys a quick a quick, um, a quick synopsis. Uh, they, 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 uh, they got rid of Jared Goff during the offseason. They upgraded the quarterback position by getting Matthew Stafford. Uh, Cam Akers did tear his Achilles about two and a half weeks ago, so he's out for the season. But Daryl Henderson's in a running back. Um, also, they picked up Deshaun Jackson this offseason. Um, they traded Michael Brockers away. Uh, they did lose John Johnson in free agency, and they lost Troy Hill. Uh, but they had Taylor Rapp already ready to play uh, one of the safety positions they, in there, and they're playing a young guy, Jordan Fuller, for the other safety position. So they still have Aaron Donald, still have Jalen Ramsey. I said they add Deshaun Jackson to the receiving core. Uh, they drafted another kid in the second round this year. So they have plenty of receiving talent. Um, they have Tyler, 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 Tyler Higby at tight end. Um, it's a bunch of offensive talent, even without Cam Akers. Their offensive line is solid. But, <laughs> excuse me, um, everything's going to be, gonna be uh, put on Matthew Stafford's lap, whether they make a Super Bowl run or not. I think this is a Super Bowl bus season. You don't give up two first round picks or a third round pick. And your uh, former franchise quarterback, uh, if you not think you're ready to win a Super Bowl right now this season. So I do want to get that question, that answer to that question, the thumbnail out the way. So um, let's go game by game real quick. And we're going to breeze through this and get up out of here. So week one, they play uh, versus the Bears at home. Uh, the Bears not good enough football team right now for the Rams. I think the Rams are a better team as to win there. Um, week two at the Colts, they without Carson Wentz and without Quentin Nelson. I will have a video about uh, how I feel about the Colts situation as well. Um, Bo Derrick's ready to get paid. Um, I don't think the Colts are going to fuck their starting quarter and their best uh, offensive lineman. That is a win for the Rams. Week three, they do play the Bucks at home. I think this is their first loss of the season. I just don't see um, them being better than the Bucks at the moment. I think the Rams are maybe the second very best team in the NFC. Uh, them and the Bucks are a toss of it. The Bucks are a slightly better team because they do have Brady. Um, so I do give them a loss there. Um, also, they play the Cardinals week four as a win. I think they had the Cardinals number. Um, as as Pyle Time would say, until the Cardinals beat the Rams, pe keep picking the Rams. Simple. They have not lost in Sean Bay era against the Cardinals. Um, at Seahawks week five, it's a loss. It's an in Seattle. Seattle a tough team at home. Don't see them winning that game. Uh, week, week six um, is at the Giants. Um, I do see the uh, Giants losing that game and the Rams winning that game. They're a better team. The Lions stink. Don't care if they're at home or on the road. That's a win there. Uh, the Texans stink. That's also a win there. Also, had them upset the Titans at home. Um, I do think the Titans are a really good football team. I do like what they bring to the table. But I think the Rams defense can... Um, can mitigate the uh, Titans offense. I don't think the Rams secondary can handle what they can handle outside Jalen Ramsey kind of um kind of trying to handle Julio outside of that. I think they're um the the, the Titans wide receiver, especially Josh Reynolds and also AJ Brown can have a field day. But I do think Aaron Donald's a game wrecker. Uh, they're gonna be triple teaming him and that allows the guys like Leonard Floyd and Ashawn Robinson and guys like that to make a lot of plays um, toward the quarterback and also in the run game as well. So I do think that the Titans do lose that game and the Rams win that game. Um, I know Derrick Henry's a monster, but I do think their run defense is good enough to just not completely neutralize Henry, but make him ineffective enough that the play action doesn't scare the Rams. And they have to beat the, run, the Titans going to beat him throwing the football. And I think that outside of uh, – uh, Josh Reynolds and A.J. Bryant cannot do so. 
Um, week uh, 10 at the Niners. They're playing at San Francisco. I do see them splitting against the Niners. They're not winning the road game. Unfortunately, they do win the home game. They will not be winning the road game. They have a week 11 bye. Uh, they play the Packers from off the bye week. I don't care if it's two weeks to prepare. It's Aaron Rodgers. That's a loss. Um, Jacks think win. Uh, at Cardinals, like I said, they, they actually sweep the Cardinals. I'm sorry. It just, as Pio Town would say, until the Arizona Cardinals defeat the Los Angeles Rams with uh, with, with uh, Sean McVay's head coach, keep picking them. So I'm going to keep picking them. Uh, versus Seahawks, I said they split against Seattle. They lose Seattle week five. That's a win there. Um, Vikings, that's a tough one. Uh, I just don't think the Vikings have enough offensively. Um, even with Dalvin Cook and the two receivers, I just don't think they have enough. I like Earth Smith too, but I just don't think it's enough. I think it's a win there for the uh, Vikings, uh, for the uh, Rams there. Um, at Ravens Week 17, that's going to a very tough environment. Um, two straight road games going all the way to the west, to the East Coast and the West Coast. Um, the Ravens are going to win that game. They're probably fighting, fighting for home field advantage or fighting for seeding at that point of the season. Then they get a win there. Um, so that's a loss for the Rams. And then finally, versus the Niners, they're going to split against the Niners. Um, week 18, that's a win there for the Los Angeles Rams. Getting into a 12-5 and record, um, you'll find out where that sits at the NFC West um, table. But um, it's a really good record for the Rams. I think they're a top three team in the NFC. So they have Matthew Stafford now, a huge upgrade over Jared Goff. They did lose some defensive pieces, but they do have, they have some young guys who can replace those guys. They did keep Leonard Floyd, which is great as well. Um, their linebacking core kind of worries me a little bit, but but they still have Jalen Ramsey, they still have Aaron Donald, still have Matthew Stafford, still have the explosive offense that Sean McVay loves to run, and they still have Daryl Henderson. They, still, they can still run the football very well, averaging four or five, 4.5 yards per pop last year, and they can always pick up a Todd Gurley or a Le'Veon Bell to some of their running back room. That's going to do it for me, man. Like, comment, subscribe. You are new. What are your thoughts on the Rams this year? Do you think the Rams are Super Bowl contenders or not? Do you think the Super Bowl are bust for the Rams? And also, what is your record prediction for the Rams? Comment down below. Like, comment, subscribe to you. I love y'all. And comment your thoughts. Peace.